All right, we are back with another free players video. And today's video is going over one of the best free players that you can get in the game right now. And then we're gonna go into the best solo challenges that you can do to get more free players on your team. I've had a lot of requests for what are the best solos in the game to do. As you guys know, I have almost every single solo star in the entire game done. I've played them all, I've gotten all the rewards. I posted tons of videos showing you what free players to get and how to get them. But today I'm gonna consolidate just a little bit. But first we're gonna get into one of the new free players that came out just today the rising stars and your wild card wednesday free player and which is the best one to pick all right so we're gonna be here on our madden ultimate team homepage. we're gonna go to challenges we're gonna scroll all the way down to rising stars right here you see i have 95 out of 15 which means when i finish the five that came out today that will put us at 100 stars at 100 stars we're gonna get weeks 17 through 20 end cat fantasy pack and i will link down below the mutt.gg post that shows all four weeks and which players you can get out of them i think the obvious choice is between either randall cobb or Amaroa St. Brown. Those are two wide receivers. Cobb is going to be 97 speed on a non-theme team. St. Brown is going to be 98 on a non-theme team. What I'm going to do is probably be adding St. Brown. I'm between St. Brown and Chandler Jones only because Chandler Jones does fit my theme team, but he won't play, whereas St. Brown will definitely play and he'll free up some coins for me. So that's between my two. All you have to do is play your weekly Rising Stars challenges here. If you've done them all throughout the entire year, you should be at 100 stars. If you did not get them, what you should do is still do these solo challenges so that you can start building up because i imagine that there's going to be more throughout the year and a lot of these cards have good uh pieces that are also in the game so you can grab like uh, a nice 90 or an 89 or a 91 that goes into a different set so definitely still grind these out we're gonna get uh one two three four five six well we're gonna get put up to seven more wild card wednesday packs so keep your eyes on those and uh, i'm gonna be picking saint brown next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into what are the best solo challenges in the game to do this is going to be kind of part two of this video i'm going to show you guys some of the best solos in the game to do because this free player video is obviously a little bit short it's not extremely accessible to every player so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start from the top here and i'm going to scroll down and go to these team of the year solo challenges you see here 40 out of 40 challenges i have 160 out of 160 stars for it but if you scroll here you're going to see that at tier 7 is a 96 overall team of the year end cat i believe that is only 100 stars that you need i will post the mutt.gg link in the in the description of this video showing you all the 96 overall team of the year end cat if you had to ask my opinion the best ones to pick from are going to be either justin jefferson who's a 99 speed non-theme team receiver i like cordero patterson one of the best running backs in the game i think daniel hunter is an amazing option you'll hear his name later in this video as well i think that darren waller is really good obviously any of the uh linemen are great picks just because you know they're not featured because they're not stellar like you know star name skill positions but lineman's always a great pick the Denzel Ward is a little bit short, but he's so fast that he's a really, really good player. And I don't mind Jeremy Chin as a user, but I really think you should go offensive with this one uh, if you have the opportunity to do so. This will give you a, a fantasy pack, one of seven options. So you're gonna get three offensive, three defensive, and a specialist option to pick out of this. I will show you what the best ones are. I showed you, I told you guys which I think the best ones are. So hopefully you guys get one of those. And if not, check out the mutt.gg link in the description to pick which is the best one there. So that's your best solo challenges to do. Start with team of the year. The next thing that you're going to want to do is i'm going to actually recommend going and doing your playoff challenges and i'll tell you guys why so in each of these playoff rounds you're going to see here you get this one you get a 93 overall jordan whitehead in the wild card one you're going to get a 93 overall roger saffold and in the next one the kickoff you're going to get a 93 overall leonard floyd now what's really nice about these is they aren't the highest overall free players in the game however if you guys watch my theme team video that's going to be coming out in the next few days these are crucial 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 pieces to your theme teams every theme team in the game and they're all good competitive players jordan whitehead on a 25 25 25 gets 99 speed in the game leonard floyd is not somebody who plays on my team right now roger saffold is somebody who plays my theme my team right now and they're great for theme teams because they get every team chem it's not like a normal card where you have to go and you pick okay he played for the patriots and the titans he can have patriots or titans these cards get every chem so they get patriots and titans so roger saffold for example gets uh, if you have 
a Titans theme team that's split with a Patriots theme team. He'll get one for Patriots, one for Titans, and then he will get a second Titans chemistry. So these guys are really, really important for your theme teams. And that's why I put these as the second next best options to do. I'm gonna throw in a tip right here in the middle of this because unfortunately there's some solo challenges that you've seen in some of my past videos, like the like the zero chill challenges, for example. I love the zero chill challenges. I think you got an amazing reward out of those, but you'll see here that they're not available. So one of the biggest things to be working on is making sure that you're doing challenges as they come out. So team of the week, for example, as those came out, they went away and they gave you a free 96 overall player. So keep up with new challenges, even if they're not in this video necessarily. I always post a video when a new free player comes into the game. So any way that there is to get a new free player, I always post a video for that. So make sure that you're checking in with my channel so you don't miss any challenges like the zero chill challenges where you got a free 94 overall Daniil Hunter who still plays on my team that unfortunately is no longer available. So just keep that in mind as we continue to go through this. The next challenges that I would do are the gridiron forge challenges. I think these are solid. If you're looking to build a team, if you're starting from pretty low, this 95 overall DJ reader is a really, really solid run stopping defensive tackle. He's not the best in the game though, which is a little bit unfortunate, but what's nice about gridiron forge is these challenges are very, very easy to do. And you get an elite, a gridiron, a pro fantasy, and an 81 plus elite player. So you get an opportunity to get some really good building pieces for your team as well. After that, I would go ahead and I would do my legend or my turkey bowl shenanigan challenges. So you pop into here, you're gonna hit these milestones and you're gonna see here 80 plus 92 turkey bowl leader and a 92 harvest end cat as well as some other opportunities for 80 pluses. Out of my 92s, I picked the Emmanuel Sanders here in the 92 turkey bowl leader because similar to the, the playoff players, he gets every AFC team chem and he also gets 49ers because he played for them. So he gets plus one on the Niners and plus one on the Patriots, which helps out my theme team because I run a split theme team. You also get a really good 92 end cat hero here. I used Kirk Cousins. I recommend him in my budget quarterbacks video. I also recommend Debo Samuel as well as Frank Ragnall. Those are guys who all have played or currently do play on my no money spent team. Next up is going to be your heart, your most fear challenges. What you need to do is you need to grind these 30 out of 30 most fear challenges. And when you complete all 30 of those, that's when you unlock these ultraverse of terror challenges. Now, none of these are that amazing in them the, of themselves, but grinding through your most fear to unlock this ultra verse of terror gives you an opportunity for a 90 overall end cat or a 85 plus release 81 plus is here 90 or an 85 plus you have a lot of opportunities in this series of solos to get really good players for your teams or auctionable players that can help increase your coin stack so i would do those next um Obviously, if you haven't already, I'm doing this video assuming that you did your campaign solos to start. Let me preface and say that if you're just getting the game and you have not grinded your campaign solos, I really do recommend doing those if you're a first time player. Most people who are watching this video probably have gotten far enough in where they haven't gone through these, but there's a lot of really good pieces in here. Um, specifically, your team captain comes out of this, a power up player comes out of this, 100,000 coins in total, and an elite store pack offer, which is really nice. So they're not great. There's no amazing amazing rewards to talk about, but they are something good to start your game off with. And then once you have all those done, if you're still working, you can do the campus hero ones. They're pretty bad. Uh, Bonos, Gridiron Guardians, Kickoff and Superstars. These are all pretty bad solos at this point in the game. For example, if I go to the ultimate kickoff here, you're going to see here 82 plus, 76 plus and 88 end cat, like 88 end cats. You do get two of them, but those are not usable cards in my opinion at this point in the game. So uh, the 90 pluses, I still think are worth it. Everything else I don't think is worth it. And then after that, if you have time, go through your legends solos and the reason that you want to do your legend solos is because when you're grinding through these what you're going to get each week is release 24 here for example you are going to get when you complete these a, I believe like an 88, an 89, maybe a 90 overall version of either Von Miller or Charlie Joyner. And you get one of those for every week. So 88, 88, 88, uh, later down the road here, they become 87s, 86s, you get some 85s. These are NAT cards, which means you can use them to put into collections. So you can use these to really build some good sets, like your team builders to make coins or exchange them up the exchange ladder to get 88 pluses so that you can get some auctionable players to make coins. So use your, your legend souls at the end here to just grind and gain some NAT pieces to build auctionable players through the exchange sets. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Watch along with our No Money Spent series where we show you guys how to build the best Madden Ultimate team in the game without spending any money. We post free player videos, very helpful tip videos all the time. The whole goal of this channel is to help you guys build a team for as cheap as possible. So make sure you're subbed up, leave a like in the video, comment down below with what you guys wanna see in the future. And guys, catch you in the next one.